Can you tell us how, uh, how you ended up here? Man, just, you know, a lot of prayer and, you know, just, you know, great fit and, you know, just wanting, you know, to be somewhere where, you know, guys compete and, you know, win. So it's kind of fit me and who I am. Have you had any discussions so far of what your role is going to be for this upcoming year, playing outside, inside, safety, or anything like that? Uh, we just stayed at, you know, just, um, you know, meeting each other. And I think that's where it started, you know, just building that confidence and that relationship with player and coach and, Everything else, I think, it take care of itself later on. So, yeah. It was up and down, but, you know, perfect call came in at the perfect time. And, and now I'm an eagle. So. Speaking Have of, you thought about potentially playing with uh, Slay and, and James Bradbury and what that might mean to you to play with veterans like that? Yeah, uh, you know, just my first time being on the veterans, you know, with those with, with years under their belt. So, you know, they definitely – can, you know, teach you a couple of things, you know, just by being a pro. Uh, nah, it don't always got to be about football, you know, just by being a pro and, you know, how to maintain in this league. Speaking of meeting people, what was your first initial reaction with the defensive coordinator, Sean Desai, and how did that go and what did you guys talk about? Right, we talked about a little ball. So, uh, man, it was exciting. He a great guy. Uh, I'm ready to work with him. Um, you know, I know his first year coming in, so we both going to have a fresh start. And, you know, I'm excited, man. I, and what he was saying, you know, yeah, I should be looking forward to a great defense. You had enough close view of the Eagles last uh, summer during the joint practices. I guess what do you remember about that time? And, you know, did they leave an impression on you or anything like that? Uh, yeah, it was a great time, man, competing against, you know, guys I, I went up against in college, which is AJ and, uh, you know, Devontae. So, you know, it was great, you know, just to get a feel of them guys again and, you know, come here and, you know, just be a part of, you know, they, the winning culture. And, you know, it's, it's a great feeling. How would you sort of characterize your – uh, characterize it. I say um, rocky a little bit. You know, just the up and down years, and you know things like that. So it's just been a lot of up and down with me. Uh, and you know, so for you. Need to, to make it less rocky from here on out. Uh, I man, just like I say on the field, and you know, performance, and you know, just doing what I need to do to you know make the team win. So that's kind of what my what my mindset is. How have you gotten through some of those rocky moments in your career? Uh, prayer, family, family with great support, and, you know, it happens. You know, it's, it's, it's just in the game, and, you know, I, but I'm I'm past that, man. I'm excited. I think I feel good. Everything just, you know, a, a refresh and a restart, so excited. In what ways do you think you can help this team? Uh, you know, whatever way I can, man. That's why I came here, you know, whatever way I can. So no matter, you know, which way. So whatever way I can, you know, I'm here, you know, just to, you know, bring what I got. Uh, lockdown, uh, you know, whatever, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know, they know how to use me very well, so I'm excited. You know, I got, I got trust in the coaches and, you know, all those guys upstairs to, you know, put me in the right position. Now that you look back at it, did some of that adversity, do you think it helped you as a player moving forward? Uh, to my like the uh, past. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it helped me a lot, man. Like I said. One year I took off in 2020, uh, you know, a little shoulder injury. So that uh, helped me sit back, you know, relax and, you know, kind of, you know, self-reflect on, you know, what I need to do, you know, just to not be in that moment again. So. This is the first time you got to pick a team. What factors were you considering in that process? What factors, like, like what things were you looking at in, in free agency to decide where to go? Just to fit where I fit in well at, and, you know, the, the great people and, you know, the people, like I said, it's a winning culture. They compete, and that's what I want to be a part of. That's who I am, and, that, you know, that's kind of where I came from. So, that's all I know. Four years ago, you were a big-time draft prospect. Mm -hmm. Were the Eagles interested in you back then? Did you, did you meet with any of the guys here? Yeah, I, I mean, I did an interview with them, but I'm not sure about, like, you know, the interest and all that, so. How similar or different are, is the scheme that you're coming from, from Cleveland, to what the one that you've talked about so far with Sean and everything else? Uh, it's just all football, so, you know, you kind of – you know, it's, it's just different language, so it's just all the same, almost the same football, so just different language. What do you think the future holds for you in the NFL? Uh, man, a, a great career, uh, a great career, and, uh, you know, just blessed to, you know, be here and, you know, keep going. I don't really look too far ahead, and, you know, I just kind of, you know, be with my feet at and, you know, focus on the main journey. What's the story behind the green name? Uh, <laughs> I like that question. Uh, 
So, man, rest in peace to my aunt. She passed away in 2021, uh, 2022. She gave me the name Greedy. Uh, young age, six months. Uh, she said I was drinking a lot of milk, and, you know, she just came up with Greedy Didi. But my mom just left the Didi off, and it's been Greedy since. <laughs> everyone, yeah. Do you think that fits for a cornerback in the NFL to be sort of greedy? Yeah, you got to get them picks, man. So. So that's what we pushing for, you know, keep that name alive and, you know, make plays and, you know, make the fans happy, make everybody happy. You mentioned having played AJ and Devontae in college. Are there, are there other guys here who, who you're familiar with? Uh, yeah, I talked – Slave was like somewhat like a mentor almost coming out of pre-draft. You know, I talked to him and, you know, things like that. So, you know, he reached out. What kind of things did, did he mentor you on? Uh, just, you know, the draft process and how it go and things like that. So. You know, we kind of chopped it up for a quick, like, 30, 40 seconds. It wasn't that long, but I listened to what he told me. How'd you guys get connected? How we stay connected? Uh, no, just following through social media. You know, just we both play the same position, SEC, corner. So, you know, it's, it, it ran hand in hand. So, it's always looking out for each other, man. Do you have a chance to talk to him since then, since you guys signed? And, uh... Yeah, I DM him. I said, they hit me. He said, come. I said, all right, bet I'm coming. Anybody else contacted? From the Eagles? Well, I hit AJ and told him, like, bro, I'm coming. He's like, let's get it then, brother. So, I'm here. I know they're excited. I'm excited. It's a great field, man. What or who is on your Oh, uh, So, this is my great-grandmother. Uh, you know, she she passed away when I signed my first contract. And, uh, man, that's that's like the heart of the family. So, uh, she, you know, keep everybody molded together. So, you know, I just wear her around and. Now, wherever I go, man, she with me, so it's kind of like my motive, keep me pushing every day.